Hi everyone, this is Veni Markovsky, ICANN's Vice President for Your Engagement based in New York. Uh, I'm happy to inform you about uh, what's been happening at ICANN between the previous MAG meeting and today. So COVID-19 has made remote engagement even more crucial and a very real and practical alternative. In fact, one could say that the infrastructure we had in place is now serving as a lifeline to us all during these times. And we are now innovating how we use our technology to further enhance our virtual engagement. ICANN.org continues to work in fulfilling its mission and uh, staying in touch with all stakeholders and closely working with the supporting organizations and the advisory committees. ICANN board also continues to work in the appropriate time frame on its operational priorities. Uh, we continue to be engaged in capacity development. We continue to provide wider capacity building programs on the domain name system or the DNS and its security the, or DNSSEC with a special focus on the needs of the developing countries in Africa, the Middle East, Latin America, and Asia. Capacity development across the ICANN ecosystem remains a key priority. Uh, we had two seminars, webinars rather, the domain name system in the time of COVID-19, a technical perspective. We had focused outreach towards regulators to get them familiar with ICANN's remit governance and core values. So we had two webinars organized and more are coming. We also had an information briefing to the UN, one face-to-face -face in January and another a virtual one in April. The success of the virtual briefing and its reach are now being taken into consideration along with a survey we did among the diplomats, 160 participants. We are also working on a joint UNESCO and ICANN webinar on universal acceptance and IDNs. Uh, the policy development fundamental course and DNS fundamentals course. Uh, ICANN is active on all levels, levels of the IGF, global, regional and national. We actively support and participate in the dialogue and initiatives presented through these forums. An example, example of some internet governance activities we are currently working on with our partners and will be participating in include Eurodic uh, from 10 to 12 of June virtual, CDIC 22-23rd of September, confirmed for the moment, ICANN public meetings are a central part of ICANN's multi-stakeholder model because the meetings provide a venue for advancing policy work, conducting outreach, exchanging best practices, conducting business deals, and interacting with members of the ICANN community board and staff. So we have the first virtual meeting due to COVID-19 pandemic, uh, ICANN 67, which had 1,752 attendees, 65 sessions, 130 countries or territories represented and 93.5 session hours. Uh, I can talk also had a response to the DNS abuse which happened in the time of uh, COVID-19. The role of the ICANN community board and organization in maintaining a secure, stable and unified internet has always been important. But at this time when reliance on the internet has skyrocketed, our collective role has become all the more vital. Uh, ICANN's response to DNS abuse is always multifaceted, reflecting the need to address abuse within the constraints of ICANN's bylaws and policies as defined by the ICANN community and by obeying local law and regulatory requirements. Um, in general, ICANN contractual compliance enforces the contractual obligations set forth in ICANN's policies and agreements, including the registry agreement and the registrar accreditation agreement. The Office of the Chief Techno Technology Officer, or OCTO, provides subject matter expertise and the Global Domain Division, GDD, works with the contracted parties to help support the delivery of registry and registrar services in accordance with contractual and consensus policy obligations. Additionally, team members from OCTO join both the COVID-19 Cyber Threat Coalition and the COVID-19 Cyber Threat Intelligence League, along with hundreds of researchers from private companies and law enforcement officers from several countries. These groups share valuable threat information focused on the response to the pandemic on the cyber realm. ICANN 68 is coming soon. Uh, we have a prep week uh, sessions taking place between 8th and 18th of June. So when you see that message, we'll be actually in the midst of it. So overall, that's what we've been doing at ICANN. And uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to interact in the coming days uh, virtually and I'm looking forward to the IGF and uh, hopefully to see you uh, soon. Thanks everyone.